Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to and use a hosted remote desktop from your office anywhere. There's a whole bunch of different connection methods you can use, so please check out some of our other videos which show you these in more detail. This particular video is all about connecting using an RDP file on a Windows desktop. If you use a Mac or a tablet, there are some other videos which will help you there. So to get started, either double click the RDP file or right click and select connect. And see, we're now logging on to remote desktop server. It's a managed environment, so we apply various policies to lock things down. This reduces the risk of user accidents and breaking something. And here's the desktop for this user with icons for all the applications we have published to that individual. And as a customer, you can select which applications individual users can run. If you look in File Explorer, you will see several areas for users to save documents. The normal documents folder, which is visible only to that user, and also a shared data area that's a network drive visible to all the users in your company. We've well, nothing in here at the minute, but you can set up your own folder structure and we can apply Windows security to those folders so you can restrict access to only the users who need to see them. We can also set up different local drives if it's required. Users also have a visibility of drives on their local PC so they can copy files up and down if they need to. You may have noticed by default that users can't see the C drive of the remote desktop server itself. This is hidden to reduce support issues, but it is accessible through applications, i.e. if your application database is saved on the C drive, then of course that will work. All these files and folders are backed up to the second data center as part of our service. You can launch applications in the usual way, just like you would on your local PC, either from the remote desktop desktop or from the start menu. One of the key advantages of the hosted remote desktop is the ability to run different applications that integrate with each other. Something you can't do with many other cloud services or applications that perhaps run in a browser, or if all you have is Office 365, for example, that doesn't help you integrate it with other applications and still run them in the cloud. So let's save this spreadsheet to our shared data area. Leaving the remote desktop in a window, let's go back to our local desktop and have a quick look at the makeup of the RDP client. So this is the server name, and each of our customers have their own dedicated remote desktop server that they share just with their colleagues. The RDP client saves the username and password, but you can select whether to enable them or not depending on your particular security policy. On the display tab, you'll notice you can extend the remote desktop across several monitors. But do also check out our remote app video to see how they can work with multiple monitors, though you might find that more interesting. On the local resources tab, you can change the settings to things like sound and microphones. And also in here, you can decide which of your local drives you want available on the remote desktop. The experience is tab is useful if you're on a slow internet connection. It's needed less nowadays, but it was critical in the early days when people connected using modems. On the advanced tab, you can set the gateway. The gateway is part of the wider infrastructure we put in place around your remote desktop server that enables you to connect over the internet. This also includes supporting and managing your server, 
for things like centrally managed antivirus, Windows updates, backup systems. Now once you're finished with the desktop, just close the applications in the normal way. You'll notice that normal users don't have the option to shut down the remote desktop. And this is because their colleagues may still be working on it. They just have the option to sign out. OK, that's the hosted remote desktop using RDP. I hope this was useful and thank you very much for watching. Please check out some of our other videos that show alternative connection methods. Bye for now.